Hi, weight artists. Today we're going to be starting an endangered animal project. You're going to be creating an endangered animal in the style of Andy Warhol, the pop artist. Start by lining up the template along the bottom of your square and draw a horizontal line across. Then line it up along one side of your square and do a vertical line down the middle. This will create a plus sign on your square. You are going to learn how to do a grid drawing today for this project. We just created a simple grid. Now, look at the handout and find an endangered animal that has an RF next to it. RF stands for rainforest. Since our art show theme this year is the rainforest, I want you to choose only the animals that are from the rainforest. I think I'm going to go with the rhinoceros. Whatever animal you pick, start with the eye. For my animal, the eye is in the top right quadrant. I'm going to draw everything that I see in that quadrant first. Be sure to draw lightly. I'm recreating what I see in the handout, but enlarging it and making it bigger. Now I'm going to move on to another quadrant. I think I'll move on and do the bottom right quadrant below. Notice how I'm working slowly and carefully. My eyes are mainly looking at the handout as I draw. Next, I think I'll work on the top left quadrant. My last quadrant will be the bottom left. Now it's time to outline everything with my Sharpie. Now it's time to erase my pencil lines that are still showing. Be sure to erase the grid lines too.
Today we will be adding color to our project. Start by selecting several different colors of oil pastels. Outline all the Sharpie lines. You can outline around both sides of the lines or just one side. If you look at the examples by Andy Warhol, you'll notice he also uses some white. The white will show up well once your animal is painted. I'm going to speed up my video, but you should take your time. Try to stick with a limited palette of only three to four colors. Now it's time to paint. Start by waking up your colors. Start by painting in the animal first. I think I'll start with orange. Try to choose colors that are different from the animal's natural coloring. Andy Warhol said he thought of the endangered species prints that he made as animals wearing makeup. Sometimes he used opposite colors or complementary colors for the animal and the background. Complementary colors are the colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. Now I think I'll add some yellow. Yellow is in the same color family as orange. They're next to each other on the color wheel. While my paint is still wet, I think I'll add a little red. Now let's work on the background. Take a look at the color wheel to see what is across from the color that you originally started with. Use one color to completely fill in the background. See what colors are near the color blue on the color wheel. I think I'll go with violet. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to add a few strokes of violet paint in the background. The last step is to use a white gel pen to add a white dot to the eyes. This will represent the light reflection. Hope you have fun creating a portrait of an endangered animal, inspired by the pop artist Andy Warhol.